Right, come in. I'm going to get stuck into this proper. Oh no, Finley. Head me. Head me. Why the water? Man down, Finley's, Finley's at a sun dump. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Tonight, start of a new series, nighttime in Bangkok. So I'm at one of my favorite night markets in the whole of the city. We're at Sai Thai Center, which is one of the best, in my opinion, night markets in the whole of Bangkok. We have got absolutely everything here. This could be a provincial market in any town in Thailand. Of course, I am here for the amazing array of street food here, but they've also got clothes, they've got phones, they've got computers, they've got people getting their haircuts here, they've got bars, restaurants, you name it, they've got it. But me and my boy, Roman Cook Jr., are gonna eat our way around the market. I've even managed to persuade my beautiful wife to join us today. So without further ado, let's get stuck into some Thai market street food. Yes. All right, guys, so first things first, okay. we need to get some food. Helen is starving, I'm pretty hungry. So we're gonna hit the first street food section. It's a big section full of classic market food, but there's some really, really, really good stalls here. And then I'm gonna show you a giant som tham over the other side, which is kind of hidden, so you gotta know it's there. So I'll show you both, but for now, I'm gonna grab some Thai street food goodies. So there's some really, really good southern food here. This little Khao Geng spot, really, really good. Right, so if you just come in from the car park, literally the first row, first stop, Khao Mok Gai. All right, first stop it has to be, guys, Khao Mok Gai. So Thai biryani, and this place super famous, very good version of this dish, which is already one of my favorites. But I can't really eat much of this because I've got to go over and eat a whole som tham. But um, I'm sure I'll get a bit of Helen's and Finley's, but let me show you uh, let me show you this spot. So this, this lets you know that it's legit Southern Thai food. Finley, Alma? Look at that. So Finley, it's, it's a tiny bit different to Kamal Bay. It's Kamal Bay. Look, it's yellow. I'll song Janaka. Kamal Bay. Kamal Bay. Kamal Bay. Kamal Bay. Kamal Bay. Kamal Bay. Kamal Oh, look at these guys. Fried shallots. And my man's doing the business over here, guys. Well, the soup looks unbelievable, guys. All right, so we've got the crispy fried shallots. Beautiful yellow rice. See all them spices going through that. Oh, this looks so good. All right, and then we've got the sauce, which is like a mint, a sweet mint sauce. Some dried chilies for Finley. And then we've got this beautiful chicken soup. Look at that. Oh, look at that. We've got a whole. We've still got some chicken on that bone. Look at that. Beautiful. You up for this, bud? Yeah. What do you reckon, bud? Not on it. Oh. What about this soup? Ow, he guys hot cup. How do you? Die cup. How he said, man? He said, put my life. He said extra. Alcohol. All right, Finley's not too keen on the spicy rice. It's not hot, but it's spiced. So he sent me out for some gaid hard, some fried chicken. So I'm gonna grab some of that, some sticky rice, go back, see what he thinks about that. And then we'll hit a few more of these stalls. Then I really wanna show you this som tham uh, over there. Gaid hard, hat yay. All right, guys, so this is the stuff. Finley sent me out for some uh, peak guided hard. Oh, song chin, the cab. Me, 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 county out, me. Oh, han, cab, cab, cab. Oh, county out, do I, the cab. All right, these are the sort of prices we can expect. Fried chicken thigh, 45, breast, 45, leg, 25, drumsticks, 25. Bargain here, guys. 
All right, guys, so I'm out of trouble now because I've got the fried chicken, drop that back there. I'll finish off the Kalmok guy and then we're off. How is it, bud? Good? I like makeup? All right, spoon test, guys. Oh, it's falling apart, isn't it? I want some of that crispy fried onions. I want some of the chicken. And I want some of that beautiful yellow rice. Ah. Oh. How nice is that? Mmm. Nam Jim's usually a bit mm. heavy on the cumin, this one, I like it. Cumin, bit of a uh, bit of cinnamon, cinnamon in there? I think so. Very buttery, I'm not sure they'd use butter, but it's got that real sort of oily mouthfeel. I love the crunch from the onions. Mmm. Yeah, you're right, as far as Kalmok Gai sauces go, it's decent. It's still a little sweet for me, um, but that's the nature of the sauce. But it is quite sharp as well. There's a lot of vinegar in there, loads of mint, a bit of chili. It's like a very good English mint sauce, isn't it? Decent first stop, guys. All right, next up, I'm gonna try this soup, right? And this is supposed to be just a side dish, a freebie, absolutely packed full of chicken. I think I've got the neck or the backbone. So there's loads and loads of chicken shredded off of that bone into the soup. Mm. Super sour, sweet, little bit spicy, loads and loads of pounded lemongrass. Mm. A bit of patchy phalang, cool antro. Spring onions. Oh, loads of lime juice. And it's quite thick, and that's from the uh, all that collagen from the chicken. Mm. That's one of the best side soups I've had. Decent. Yeah, it's the neck. Absolutely delicious. Like, look at this sauce as well. It must be a secret recipe. It was so good. It was like, it's lovely, sweet mint. Remind me of England, actually, sauce. And it was just lovely over the curry chicken and the curried rice, all the different flavors, the crispy onions on top. Oh, delicious. Good first stop. I'll tell you what, you're not gonna find too many better soups than that. It's probably the best one I've had. A touch sweet, but packed full of flavour. That's probably worth coming down here for alone, but don't worry, I've got about 50 other stalls to show you. Lunch is what? 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 So there's this big bit at the back. So we've walked in uh, past the Kalmot guy and just walked all the way to the end. So sort of towards the back of the car park. And there is this massive row of different Thai restaurants. So we've got a Canom Jean shop here. You've got Tom Yum, Kwe Tiao. You've got barbecue shops, just untold amounts of different street food. It'd probably take you a year to get through all of this food. So you grab your food guys and then you can sit at any of these little under shelter, outdoor table areas. Right, so this is the Thai candy floss. Finley's definitely not going to sleep tonight. I can try a little bit. It's very sweet. Can we have a green one? You don't like sweet, do you? So these are really famous in a Yutaya. What do you call them? Roti Saimai. Roti Saimai. Uh, Giba. Giba. Roti. Okay. So there's literally restaurants and little shops, tables, where you can eat absolutely everywhere in this market. All right, guys, so before we show you any more food, we've got our roti. Finley, do you want some bugs? Alma? 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 All right, so Finley, not so keen on the bugs. What I want to show you guys before we eat anything else, we've got our candy floss. We're gonna go and sit down. There's like a 
there's like a central bit where you can sit. There's seats around there. There was some live music over there when I was here the other day, so that might be on as well. So we'll show you that. But we're now in the clothes, trainers, uh, electronics, barbers section. So I'll show you a little bit of this. So Finley's in heaven. Look at this. Look, shoes galore. Helen's found some plants. I'm such an old lady, I just love a plant. And this one? Yeah. Alright, so as you can see, there's a stage here, but there's no live music today. But I was here on Wednesday and there was a live band here. So, um, yeah, it's a nice little spot. Got some benches, etc., etc. Finney's got a new mate. Alright, Helen's going to show you how to make one of these. Well, it's literally so I think you might have gone a bit too heavy with a... I think we've gone a bit too heavy and these are a bit too heavy as well. Well, for me, for me to slow down. Yeah. Mum, but I, I can do my one myself. There you go. Should I put the stuff in the middle? Yeah. You've got about hair that one. There you go. Put it in. It's like hair, isn't it? <laughs> You've used all the bang bang stuff. What? You don't use all the bang you just use one. <laughs> That's it. Okay, <laughs> Can I eat it? Hello, mate. So yeah, they've got everything here. They've got stuff for the ladies, they've got the nail bars, they've got beauty salons, they've got barbers for the guys, they've got hairdressers for the women. They've got vintage clothing here, they've got new clothing here, they've got loads of different t-shirts, etc, etc. They've got football kits. The list goes on. They've got absolutely everything here. And I'm actually in the quiet part of the market. I'm going to go back over to the busy part in a minute, but this is where the Somtam is. So let's head over there to this little sort of hidden food court bit, which is a little bit more quiet, but the side that I prefer. Some um, big China, cup. I like safe tea sort, na. Tampa. 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 Say pala, na. Yes, pala. Some tam tad. Tam tad. Tam tad. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 ครับสบายดีสบายดีครับสบายดีสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบายดีครับสบาย
That's the funky stuff, guys. Then <laughs> goes the gatin, met gatin, gatin, and the uh, clang. อันนี้นะครับเยอะครับเยอะครับน่ารักมากโอ้โหนักมั้ยนักมั้ยไม่นักนะอีซี่ไซเอ็นซุ่มตามขอบคุณครับขอบคุณครับ All right guys so Finley's first sumtam tad sumtam on a tray so we've got loads of different stuff here we've got some pig eye dots some chicken wings pawan uh, sweet fish more Cup more, more yaw. They're nice, aren't they? So we got some noodles with just some dark soy sauce on them. Very, very simple. Mm. Right, come in. I'm gonna get stuck into this proper. Oh no, Finley. Have you been? Have I? Why the water? Man down, Finley's. Finley's had a sometime. <laughs> What bit did you have? I think you probably touched that or something. Uh oh. Is your head gonna explode? Hey, man. Yeah, Finney's just. <coughs> Finney's just eating one of these bad boys. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna have a go on this some thumb. So, usually I wouldn't get too much bala in my some thumb, as you know, guys. But I'm, I'm starting to get used to it and I'm actually starting to like it. It's less sweet than the some thumb Thai, which uh, I like. But this one with the. Hoi Krang, so cockles, and these little mek gratin, which um, I'm probably saying wrong, but they are called Isan Sato because they taste a little bit like stink beans, but obviously they're small and cheap. Mm. Mm. Nice. Good? How was that chilli, mate? You're a man now. Oh? How's your trick? Yeah, I don't. I'm not so keen on the, I'm not so keen on the little cockles. I don't mind them. Um, what have we got in here? Some pickled bamboo? Some pickled bamboo? Yeah, pickled bamboo. Gary, can you, can you eat this? Mm -hmm. It's a chicken wing, you can eat that. Can you eat it? Yeah. Can you, I'm not gonna... Chicken wing? Mmm, you'd like that. You'd like that. Mmm. Now obviously you're meant to share this between three or four people, but it's just me and Finley. Helen doesn't really eat all pala, do you babes? Yeah. No, not for her. But yeah, I like this somtam a lot. I like the pala now. It's really growing on me. I like it more than the somtam Thai, I think, because it's less sweet. Not sure I'd get the um again, the cockles again. Um, but I do like these crunchy aubergines, these little mekatin, which are, like I said, Isan Sator is the nickname for them because they're a little bit like stink beans. Um, yeah, very, very nice. Mm. This is the Komu Yang. Now this, the perfect... Cup. One, two, three, some Is that? Yeah, yeah, the pancakes yeah, yeah. are kicking in. So yeah, Komu Yang cannot go wrong here. The, 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 the winner here is this chow sauce. Absolutely incredible here, guys. Uh, yeah, it's not, it's, it's not as bad as mm. It's very spicy. Yeah, it's quite spicy and sweet. You're right, it's spicy. A little bit of sweetness. There's something in there that I can't put my finger on. I don't know, there's lime chilli, palm sugar obviously, it's quite sour, but there's, there's, there's a background something in there, and you can see it's quite murky, so I'm not sure if I've actually put pala in there. 
All right, so I've worked out what's in here. The thing that I thought tasted alcoholic, actually, namdi, so actually a little bit of bile, which usually I absolutely despise, but this is one of the most interesting dips I've ever had. So this place is 100% worth coming down for alone. I think next time I'll come down and order a load of different Isan dishes. It's my kind of place. Everyone's just sitting outside, having a couple of drinks, enjoying some good food. There's tables of groups of different people. Everyone's down here enjoying themselves. Uh, There's pretty much market wide. Everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. Everyone's super friendly here. Like I said, it's got a kind of sort of provincial feel. When you get to the outskirts of Bangkok, you could be in another province. And uh, this market is definitely big enough to be a market in say like the main market in Udon Thani or like a town in Isan, something like that or up north uh, for sure. I've really enjoyed it uh, but the night is not over yet. Helen and Finley have left us because it's past Finley's bedtime but I'm going to stay down here for a little bit longer, get a little bit more food, show you a bit more of the market and uh, yeah just see what this market's got to offer. Let's go. All right guys if I wasn't so stuffed from that som tam I would definitely be stopping here. We've got Leng Seab, spicy pork bone soup. Absolutely phenomenal. This one looks top draw. So I'll definitely be back to try this. I've been standing here for like 10 minutes watching them in action. I'm, I'd love to say I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I'm so full, but um, I will be back for sure. But anyway, if you are down here, you should probably check this out. As I keep mentioning, there is loads of southern food here, and that makes sense because we're about 400 meters away from the southern bus terminal. So if you're getting the bus south, or you're coming from the south up to Bangkok, you have to hit this market, guys. Do not miss this one, because this is one of the best food markets, and just one of the best markets in general. The, the whole vibe here, it's really, really local, as I keep saying. Everyone's really, really friendly, and there's just so much food here. So as I say, do not miss this. If you are coming up from the south or you're going down to the south, make sure you hit this market for sure. All right, this is what I need when I'm this hot, guys. My pao pan. I'm a pao pan, right? Go on, It looks like I've sped this up, guys, but this is actually him in full flow. Oh, look, we've got a bit of flesh as well. Let's go in there as well. A little squeeze of a... Uh, Milk, why not? Cup and cup, cup and my cup, cup. All right, so I think this is going to be our last savory stop, guys. Right, I haven't found a seat yet. That is outrageous. See, up until a while ago, I thought it was only beer that could quench my thirst, but no, turns out I was just thirsty. Well, look at this gratiam giao. Crispy fried garlic, oh my God. We've got them little picking all chilies. And then we've got a couple of different types of pork here, guys. I think we've got shoulder here, and then uh, I need more sometimes. And then we've got pork belly here, which is what I'll be getting. Just being fried up to crispy perfection. I mean, I could just eat a plate of that. Uh,
เอาอีกครับโอเคครับขอบคุณนะครับขอบคุณมากครับบ๊ายบายบ๊าย All right, guys. I found myself a seat. So let's have a look at this. Look, crispy, crunchy, battered pork. Those little kinu chilies. Oh, and all that lovely garlic. Bottoms up. Oh. Now you guys know there's nothing I love more than crispy pork. And garlic, fried garlic. So together as a combo, incredible. Especially those lovely little chilies, just giving that heat to cut through the richness, that fattiness. Mm. I might even pour a bit of sauce on, because it needs something sour. It's like a homemade sweet chili sauce. So it's quite sour. A bit of vinegar, garlic, chili, obviously. Oh, what a way to end our little food tour! Oh, I am absolutely stuffed. I tell you what, guys, it's so nice to come to a market, and Ellis will know about this. That isn't just full of fried hot dogs. And junk. There's some really, really good food here. I absolutely love it. I've had such a good time today. It's nearly 10 o'clock, so I've been here for just over four hours, and I've just about scratched the surface. As I said before, absolutely love the whole vibe down here. Love all the local stalls. Like I said, you can get literally anything here, pretty much. Food's good. People are great. As I keep saying. So even if you're not getting the bus, I still think it's worth coming out here. It's about 15 minutes from my house, which is quite far west of Bangkok. So from central Bangkok, you're probably looking at half an hour, but well worth the cab ride. So I'll stick links with directions, all that good stuff, opening times in the description box below, and uh, let me know in the comments if you're going to come to this market yourselves. As I said in the intro, this is the start of a little evening series I'm doing. So you're going to get an evening video once a week for a few weeks to come. Now, hope you enjoy that. Let me know if you enjoyed this, and I will see you in the next one.